Catch these movies if you can. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 great chase movies. For this list, we'll be examining films that are structured around or otherwise heavily feature a chase or chases. Oh. Am I lucky or am I just good? Is that Marvin? <laughs> Fing A, I'm the best. Marvin? We've already examined individual chase scenes. So if you think we've left a film with a great chase out, it's not because we didn't think it's good, but rather that its story or main plot isn't really built around it. Oh, and watch, a spoiler alert is now in order. Oh yeah, the public's gonna love my ass. The red-nosed robber kidnaps the richest girl in the country. Or I get my own sitcom. Number 10, Duel. Beat me on the grade, you can't beat me on the grade! It doesn't get much simpler than the premise of this early 70s film by Steven Spielberg, in which a man is terrorized on the road by a seemingly faceless driver of a truck. I'd like to report a truck driver that's been endangering my life. What begins as a relatively ordinary one-upmanship between salesman David Mann and the driver of a tanker truck soon escalates into harassment and a deadly game of road rage, with the truck driver making repeated attempts on Mann's life. Come on, you miserable fathead, get that fat ass truck out of my way! Duel plays out much like a typical man versus wild movie, but with a much more technological beast in the role of the predator. I'm never gonna make that appointment now. Number 9, The Born Supremacy. I'm gonna ask you some simple questions. You're gonna answer me honestly, or I swear to God I'm gonna kill you. While all the Born films are pulse pounding chase stories in their own right, we had to go with the second installment. Ian Born, where is he now? Dead in the ditch. Drunk in a bar in Mogadishu. Who knows? I think I do. Amnesiac former spy Jason Bourne is dragged back into the world of international espionage when he's framed for a bombing and must find the perpetrators, all while being pursued by government agents. Please don't do it. Look, Marie, I, don't I warned you. To Marie, do it. I told him what would happen if they didn't leave us alone. Supremacy is possibly the series' best outing to date, with all of its hallmarks a shadowy conspiracy, breakneck chases, both vehicular and on foot, and brutally eclectic fight choreography, all turned up to 11. Heck, even the soundtrack pulls out all the stops here. If it's over, then why are they still after me? I don't know. Number 8, Apocalypto. <laughs> Set in 16th century Central America, Apocalypto follows a hunter named Jaguar Paw, whose tribe is attacked and taken to be sacrificed by Mayan slavers. <laughs> After narrowly escaping, Jaguar Paw must evade his captors and return to his pregnant wife and son, who hid from the slavers but are trapped in a well. Although the chase primarily occurs during the latter half of the film, and its historical accuracy is heavily questionable. Apocalypto is an exhilarating experience throughout, blending subtle commentary on declining civilization with a brutally immersive tale of Hunter and Hunted. Number 7, No Country for Old Men. What's in the satchel? It's a bowl of money. That'll be the day. When Hunter Llewellyn Moss finds a bag of money amidst the remains of a massacre, he doesn't count on being hunted himself. I'm going out. Going where? Well, something I forgot to do, but I'll be back. Moss is tracked by Anton Chigurh, an implacable hitman, whose methodical, relentless pursuit lends the film an aura of quiet menace. Don't put it in your pocket, sir. Don't put it in your pocket, it's your lucky quarter. The Coen brothers, who directed this thriller, used the strategy of less is more by rarely showing direct confrontation between the two combatants, and instead keeping the threat of violence a constant throughout, letting the audience's own expectations provide much of the tension. Who is this? You know who it is. You need to talk to me. I don't need to talk to you. I think you do. The fact that Moss and Chigurh's final confrontation does not occur on screen may disappoint some, but there's no denying that the chase itself provides plenty of satisfaction. You know how this is gonna turn out, don't you? Nope. Number six, The Warriors. Warriors, come out to play. This late 70s cult film follows the eponymous gang, The Warriors, over the course of a single night. When a charismatic gang leader is murdered during a summit between the Warriors and several other gangs, the titular group is wrongfully accused. They think we shot Cyrus. 
What are you talking about? I don't get it. Stranded in New York City with every other gang and the police after them, the Warriors' struggle to return home to Coney Island is a memorable one, with the best sporting crew having to fight off numerous colorful criminals throughout. We've got the Saracens sitting next to the Jones Street Boys. We've got the Moonrunners right by the Van Cortlandt Rangers. Nobody is wasting nobody. Full of 70s style, atmosphere, and action, The Warriors is one chase movie you'll want to watch like The Last Train Home. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? <laughs> Number five, Children of Men. Why are women infertile? Why can't we make babies anymore? In this dystopian film, humanity is completely infertile, with no births having occurred for 18 years prior to the film's opening. The story follows Theo, a cynical man who lost his son, as he escorts Key, the world's only pregnant woman, to a secret group of scientists studying infertility. Even if they discovered the cure for infertility, it doesn't matter. They are constantly pursued by radicals who want to use Key as a figurehead for their position, all while trying to avoid catching the attention of those in control of the police state in which they live, as she is a refugee and therefore considered illegal. You're okay. How is she? I'm not. The film features a number of intense chase scenes, including a particularly long single shot sequence in which a crying newborn halts a war. Stop! Cease fire! Cease fire! In a world with no apparent future, what many of the movie's characters are chasing is hope. Gently. Gently. Number four, Mad Max Fury Road. You want to get through this? Do as I say. We can just hear the comments now about this film's placement. Make no mistake, Mad Max Fury Road is utterly amazing. <laughs> From beginning to end, Fury Road is almost entirely one continuous car chase, with Furiosa and her band of freed slaves fleeing the war boys and their leader, Immortan Joe. I am your redeemer! It is by my hand you will rise from the ashes of this world! The car battles are thrilling, the choreography is intricate, and the visuals are breathtaking. If there's one area in which the next entry excels over this one, though, it's pacing and character development, which Fury Road rarely slows down for. Not that we're complaining. Remember me? Number three, catch me if you can. Frank, nobody's chasing you. A Steven Spielberg movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks is a very simple recipe for success, but Catch Me If You Can is so much more than that. FBI! The film, which is based on true events, follows a teenaged con artist named Frank Abagnale as he evades FBI agent Carl Hanratty. Drop it! Relax! You're late. Frank's cons, which include check fraud, impersonating a pilot, doctor, and a lawyer, provide much of the film's driving force, and also offer insight into the young man's search for identity following his parents' divorce. Jump seat is open. You know, <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this. Which one's the jump seat again? Frank and Hanratty's mutual respect and gradual friendship, despite being on opposite sides of the law makes for a nice change from the usual animosity found in some of our other entries. I don't understand. Sure you do. Sometimes it's easier living the lie. Number two, The Fugitive. I didn't kill my wife! I don't care! While the innocent convict story is not exactly original, The Fugitive is perhaps the pinnacle of movies that use this plot device. When Dr. Richard Kimball's wife is killed by a one-armed man and the good doctor is convicted of the crime, a fortuitous accident gives the surgeon the chance to prove his innocence. Richard is innocent. You'll never find him. He's too smart. Hot on his trail are a group of U.S. Marshals led by Samuel Gerard, played by Tommy Lee Jones in a role that won him an Oscar. What I want out of each and every one of you is a hard target search of every gas station, residence, warehouse, farmhouse, hen house, outhouse, or dog house in that area. Checkpoints go up in 15 miles. The Fugitive is an engaging mystery that the audience, along with Kimball and the Marshalls, is desperate to unravel. With its timeless appeal and memorable set pieces, like Kimball and Gerard's confrontation atop a dam, The Fugitive is one of the absolute greatest chase films. 
Richard, do you want to get shot? Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Please make sure you leave it on. Okay. You don't have a gun? I don't like guns. Well, how much time do we give you? If we're not back in two days, it'll mean I'm dead. The Naked Prey, an epic tale of pursuit and survival, as one courageous man is singled out to be hunted like a lion. <laughs> Number one, North by Northwest. You gentlemen aren't really trying to kill my son, are you? This Hitchcock classic follows Roger Thornhill, an advertising executive who is mistaken for a spy and is framed for murder, leading him to flee both the police and actual spies. Something wrong with your eyes? Yes, they're sensitive to questions. Will you call them? Thornhill's journey to find answers and clear his name leads to many iconic scenes, with planes, trains, and automobiles, a femme fatale, and a final confrontation atop of one of America's biggest monuments. Hitchcock was called the master of suspense for a reason, and every scene here keeps the audience invested in what will happen next. What possessed you to come blundering in here like this? Could it be an overpowering interest in art? Yes, the art of survival. Often cited as one of the greatest films of all time, North by Northwest is certainly one of the greatest chase films, too. I'm sorry, old man. Too bad. Keep trying. That sounds so rough. Do you agree with our list? What chase film had you in hot pursuit? The fact that you are a sheriff is not germane to the situation. The goddamn Germans got nothing to do with it! What do you say? Shut up one shit at a time! For more top tens you can catch daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. What do you say? We lost him.